Say bend in your mind. Keep helping it to go all the way. And the reason I can do it that way is because I'm psychic. Right. Correct. As a scientist, I can't help feeling we seem to have lost our reason and gone mad. Not only are we turning our backs on science, we're embracing the world of anti-science. Everywhere you turn now, there are psychics, astrologers and paranormalists offering tin pot comforts for those who need reassurance. The paranormal is taking over newspapers, TV schedules and now apparently the high streets. You might think it's all a bit of a giggle. Well, I don't. It not only purveys a view of the world which is false, but it's also impoverished, poverty-stricken. People who believe in it, and I've seen some of them in that shop, credulous, gullible people, are missing so much. I think the paranormal needs to be debunked, and I know just the man to do it. Give a big hand. Okay. Ian Rowland is a psychic illusionist. He entertains audiences like this one at a London Students' Union, with phenomena of the kind regularly passed off as paranormal on TV shows. Any sleight of hand or any trickery whatsoever. Watch. Just look at this. Say, bend in your mind. Keep helping it to go all the way. He trained as a conjurer and won't tell exactly how he does his tricks. Degrees, yeah? You see this clearly? Okay, and we want it to do But he's absolutely clear about one thing. I don't have any psychic or paranormal abilities whatsoever. Uh, I always state this quite clearly at the beginning of a show. Now and again, somebody wants to uh, argue the point and make out that I really am psychic, but I'm pretending not to be. But the honest truth is, I'm as psychic as a teapot. What I, I try and do is say that I can reproduce in my shows any kind of psychic or paranormal effect whatsoever. From mediumship, spoon bending, fire walking, ESP, clairvoyance, predictions, whatever. So far, anything that I've seen a, a so-called genuine psychic do, I've been able to do just as well, I think, in the shows that I do. Like this, in which the blindfolded Ian has to find a member of the audience and stab a knife through the sign he's holding. For directions, he pretends to read this student's mind. No, if I get a reaction like that, I can hear and it's a giveaway. Please try your best not to flinch or move. Tracy, if you would just carry on, forward, left, back, whatever. Ah. Mm. Can you, can you, just yes or no, can you see where the knife is? Yes. It's now the knife you must guide, not me. I'm absolutely and utterly positive there is no such thing as anyone with psychic abilities. You have to understand that this sort of thing has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and we still haven't found anyone who can demonstrate their so-called psychic powers under common sense, scientifically controlled conditions. They can do it in a TV studio, in their homes, on a stage. That's easy. I can do that. But nobody ever has come forward who can demonstrate these so-called abilities under conditions where you preclude the chance for trickery. Some people think that clairvoyance, horoscopes and the psychic charlatans you see on television are harmless because they're just entertainment. The danger is that people will come to take this sort of hocus pocus seriously, will actually believe in it, and then the danger is that it will undermine or weaken their grasp on reality.